eyes. We're going to focus on some grounding, some sacral energy, and some heart opening. Roots and blossoms. Roots and blossoms. Good, beautiful, good, beautiful morning. Good, beautiful that morning. <laughs> All right. So here we are. And the beautiful, big transitioning, rebirthing mystery of a world. So take any movements or props that you need to be at ease in your seat. And once you're ready to, I want to invite you to ground by way of bringing your hands to your sacrum. And notice that as you push down into your sacrum, your heart lifts up. Beautiful wisdom, Ariel, of asking for these two things together because indeed, as all of us and all of our parts are connected, um, especially this one again and again, it shows up in the practice that the more we engage and root down in the sacrum, the more we lift and open through the heart. Uh, and all those beautiful physical cues of yoga, again, showing up uh, in the world, in our lives, in our relationships, the more that we root and ground, the more that we have the ability to open our hearts to love a little bigger, a little wider, to give back a little more easily and freely. So as you feel into your sacrum here, maybe with your fingers pointing down, you can press down and imagine some roots going down into the earth. As you inhale, welcome the sky to pour down through your body and root into the earth through your fingers, through your sacral and sits bones. And as you exhale, feel that warmth of your breath, your unique expression of life rising up and out, shining out through your heart and your pretty face. Deep full breaths, inhale, rooting. Exhale shining out through the heart. Of course, if it's a lot to hold the hands that way, you could kind of just hold a wrist or clasp the hands behind you or anything else that kind of grounds uh, through the sacrum and root to open the chest. Let's just take a few more big full breaths this way. And what are you choosing to root or to ground at this time in order to blossom or to open more fully? to what? Always seeking that balance. And here as we're about at half moon right now, and the world is calling us to be activated in so many ways, can we also continue to give ourselves the pause to turn in, to slow down, to stop and nourish thyself, to integrate our experience, to feel all the feels without letting anything get stuck, keeping that flow of life. <clears throat> if you will, here with me, you can continue to just imagine a rooting down through your root chakra, through your physical roots into the earth, to the home of our ancestors, and to our connection to our families, our communities, to our work, our survival, home. And as we connect there, what would we choose to lift up and take with us? What would we choose as the teachings or rememberings that will guide us forward? Staying with this breathfulness, if you'd like, I invite you to add the mantra of Khlong, Khlong, the root chakra energy, Khlong. And you're welcome to repeat this multiple times on a breath or just one long on each breath. I'll be doing three on a breath, uh, likely. And also any note that feels good for you. I like to go low and try to resonate in the body. So as is right for you, exhale and empty. Inhale down to your root. Three breaths with long. Long, long, long.
Keep rooting down through your seat and bring your hands to your heart. Let's press into the heart now and heart presses back up into the hands, bouncing up and bring your breath full awareness into that blossoming, that which you have the power to shine out, to offer out, to give back with. What would you choose to cultivate or express in the heart center today to blossom from that rooting of your ground? And the breath of the heart, our airy energy, our self-expression, our unconditional loving awareness, our compassion, our ability to just love more and more and more. There's no limits on how bright and wide and full our hearts can get, how much love we have. It's astounding. And so opening to that ability, to this freedom of loving expansively, looking to vibrate the heart, ha, that breath of life, the ya, that vibrates in the heart, and then the ng at the end that vibrates in the crown of the head. Here we go, exhale and empty three rounds of breath with yang. Yes. All right, shake your legs out as needed or adjust your seat. We're going to be here a little longer again. You might want a tissue. I don't know. I'm going to grab one just in case. I wish I could hand you one, maybe sometime soon. So I'm thinking about soon making our Friday classes at Willard Park in your hood because we can now and hopefully we can continue to but little socially spaced practice at Willard Park on Friday mornings they think that could be a good move so I'll send out a newsletter with that really soon but I see some excitement <laughs> and um yeah it would be fun to see you all there and almost touch you just a little more almost than this so as you're ready, let's continue with the cleansing practices and we'll really imagine again into the roots and that rising up through the stem of our being and the blossoming out from our head and heart. <clears throat> so if you will, we're going to bring first two fingers to third eye center. And first, we're going to breathe in the right side of our body. So close the left nostrils, inhale through the right, color red or whatever feels right for you there, and pause at the top as we gather up any latent energies of resentment or anger or whatever it is like that. And then close right and exhale strongly left. Close left, inhale right, gathering up. Close right, holding, exhale strongly left. Hmm. Good thing with her tissues. And once again. <clears throat> Breathing in that right side, bright color of red, your assertion, your powerful offering. And then take your time. We're going to close right. Inhale left, gathering up pearly white light, energies of attachment or fear. And pause and hold that at the top. And any of that you don't need, close left and exhale strongly right. And again. 
closing right. Inhale, gather up left, pearly white light, energies of fear or attachment. Hold and feel it. Close left, exhale strongly out right. One more time, inhaling left, gathering up. For the practice, letting go of fear and attachment. And then moving on, we'll inhale central channel, gathering up a rainbow of the chakras or the blue light of clear awareness here at center. And gathering up as we do that, any dullness, ignorance, or apathy, these energies that kind of dull our awareness so that kind of protect us. But for right now, for this practice, we don't need no protections uh, except our own wisdom. So gathering up any latent energies of dullness, ignorance, or apathy, pause at the top, allow yourself to feel them. And then as you exhale, out both nostrils strongly, pelvic floor flies up, navel flies up. <laughs> force the breath out. Again, as you're pulling up, imagining up through that root and then blossom flowers out of your heart and head. Let's do that a couple more. And we will sweep, sweep, sweep our house clear of sorrows. Thank you, Rumi. Making room for whatever might want to come through today. We will use the kapalabhate or that sweeping energy to sweep up the central channel, clear out any stagnancy or, uh, again, any of that stuck or dulling energy, sweeping, clearing, exhale and empty. Inhale about two thirds. Keep your face and your shoulders relaxed and quick, rapid exhales from the diaphragm with the pelvic floor lifting, navel flying up. <laughs> Inhale happens naturally. Exhale strong. Keep it going <laughs> at your own pace. Sweep, sweep, sweeping up, clearing, 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 shining up, out through the crown of the head, skull, shining breath. Five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale all the breath out, holding out, out, out. Pause in the emptiness, tuck in, lift the pelvic floor, lift the navel, hold and soften around the emptiness. When you need to, you release the binds and just let the breath flow naturally for a moment. And we'll do one more round, this time holding in at the end. Take your time. Please go at your own pace. Stay relaxed around that. If you're on a heavy moon day or pregnant, do it much slower or don't do it. Just deep breaths. And five, four, three, two, slow them down, one, all the breath out, empty, squeeze, and then inhale, full, 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 welcome the breath in as full as you can, and drop the chin, lift the pelvic floor, let the navel be relaxed, no efforting there, hold around that fullness, soft and around the fullness, when you need to release. Release as slowly as you can, just melting away any tension, leaking out the breath. And take pause, let the breath breathe you. 
Notice the energy present. Let's come on to the back body. I'll bring some attention back into the sacral area. Have a block near you if you have a block. <clears throat> That'd be great, not required, but will be helpful to what we're moving into. <clears throat> At first, let's just feel into the sacrum. So just a little good morning massage to your low back here. Hug into your knees and draw some circles around your sacrum. And then switch directions. Feel that earth energy holding you, yourself grounded, supported awareness into the back body, our past individually and collectively, the divine, the unseen, all of these support systems that we know are there and even if we can't see them. And let's bring the knees now directly over your hips and the heels straight out from the knees. Flex the feet and feel your sacrum, that big bone again at the base of the hip, really rooted to the earth at the base of the spine, that is, that connects your spine and your hips. And let's bring the hands to your thighs. Push the hands uh, right at the head of your femur, so at the groin crease, and push into your groin creases. Move the head of the femurs away from you at the same time as you push the thighs back into the hands. Go ahead and press, resist, press, resist, press, resist. Every exhale, rooting that sacrum down, pull your low ribs back. <sighs> Making those roots nice and deep, rooting down, feeling the back body. Keep the sacrum rooted, extend the legs out, interlace the hands behind the head and lift the head and shoulders just a little bit. Hold here, navel back. Pull the feet back in, press the feet into the earth and root down, lift up, interlace the hands behind you. And now your hands, your feet, your shoulders and the center back of your head, your roots. So lift the chin slightly, root down through all those points, grounding in, squeeze your shoulders and breathe your heart bright. Deep, full breaths here, simply breathful or long ahs, open jaw, open throat, try to vibrate and imagine the heart light just blossoming out into the world around you. You're offering to all of the beautiful upliftment and unification and rebirthing that is happening as we topple the old constructs that did not serve all of us. <sighs> Thank you, beings. Thank you, beings all around the world for waking up to this time, for doing the work. Let's sing it out for all of us. Big heart ahs. If you will, exhale empty. Inhale, open heart. Ah. Inhale, lift it up, and as you exhale, ripple it on down. Let's bring your block now to your thighs. So we're going to take the long, narrow way facing you. Pick the thighs back up as they were a little reverse tabletop, and bring your block onto your thighs just a little above middle of the thighs, where you can easily bring... Okay, not so easily, but we can relatively easily bring your elbows to your block and press into the block as you press the block back into the elbows. Press, resist, press, resist, press, resist. Hands could point up to the sky or at your face as you like. Head could be down if you need, head up as you're able. Press, resist, pull navel back, ground that sacrum, and pull your lower ribs back. Every exhale. Three more. Whee, and 
lay on down. Options with your block here. You could put your block under your sacrum at any height, maybe middle, maybe higher, or you could bring your block between your thighs, short, narrow way facing you and squeeze onto that block. Lots of core strength, press into the back body, work your shoulders on the back and then look towards the sky. Don't turn your head to the side with this pose uh, muscularly activated, please. Root into hands, shoulders, squeeze, squeeze your block, squeeze your belly just a little bit. Lift your hips, lift your heart, lift your chin, maybe lift the corners of your mouth. Deep, full, bright heart breaths. Again, simply breathful here, or if you'd like, open jaw, open throat, and we'll bring some Oz in. Oh, 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 one more. Oh, big inhale there as you exhale, release it on down. Hug your knees into your chest and let's rock and roll here. Massaging into your back body. As you're ready, maybe cross your ankles and roll over your ankles onto your hands and knees. And claw your fingertips. Inhale, open cow. Exhale, round cat. We'll get nice fluid spine for a little bit here, pulling on the earth and reaching that heart forward as you inhale. And as you exhale, press and round. All right, we're gonna to begin to challenge here into the core. And again, a nice strong alignment of the sacrum. I know we'll need this in a minute. So excuse me while I undress. All right, so what I want you to imagine or even experiment with, I'm pretty sure my outfit and block are too slippery, but is that you have a block or a bowl of soup or something on your sacrum. Okay, I'll just try it, even though I know it's gonna fall off. What I want you to do is imagine you've got a block there or a bowl of soup on your sacrum and lift your knees. Lift your knees and hover. Pick one knee up. Reach forward like you're gonna walk forward. And don't let your soup spill. And then second side, neutral. Pick the other knee up. Make like you're gonna walk forward. Try to keep that sacrum level so we don't want it to dip over to the side. Try to keep it level. Pull in. Switch, walking. Claw your fingertips so the wrists don't get tired here. We're going bigger. We're actually going to walk it back. That um, right hand and then other leg. So keeping as level as you can. We'll walk back and then forward for whatever space you've got. Try to keep that sacrum level. Oh, I just totally spilled my soup. Yep. <sighs> spilled it again. Okay. The hand thing. <sighs> yeah, sound effects optional. And <laughs> come on back to center in the next breath or two. And pull from your hips up and back, downward dog, stretch it out. Pull back from the core, long spine, relax your neck. Keep pulling back from the core, reach your heart towards the floor. And maybe here, play with a little shoulder slide, inhale and slide the scapula or the shoulders up to your ears and then exhale slide your scapula down the back towards your hips couple more pulses inhale reach exhale slide inhale reach the heart back towards the thighs 
Exhale, bend the knees deep. Inhale, pull the hips back. Exhale, empty of breath and hop forward. Inhale, half forward fold. And exhale and fold. Twice again. Inhale, Artha, halfway. Exhale, fold. Again. Inhale, sink into your seat and sweep your fingers open up. Exhale, sweep back. Straighten the legs. Creating a little wind here for yourself in a good way. Inhale, opening up. Utkatasana. Exhale, sweep. Uttanasana. If you want to open that all the way up, you can. Three more. And let's bring your hands up onto your thighs. We'll play a little bit here with making some space around the sacrum. So push down onto the heads of your femurs again and let your shoulders shrug up and lengthen your spine. Breath full here. And then slide the hands out, reach your hips back, inhale and stretch it out. Exhale, fly the arms around, clasp, squeeze the palms, forward fold. Relax the neck, squeeze your shoulders, bend the elbows slightly. One more breath. Sink into the knees, bring your hands to your thighs outside of your thighs. Let's bring the hands to the outside of the thighs and push into your thighs as you push the thighs back into the hands. You're pushing out and you're pushing in. A little isometrics there, making some space around the sacrum. Sink into your seat, stretch your fingers forward, hips back. Inhale as you exhale, push into your feet and dive in, forward fold, clasp the hands, breathe a few breaths in that clasp hand, forward fold, or any variations, welcome. the hands down and make like you've still got that block there okay um, and sink in and slowly pour the weight into the right foot pick your left foot up and stretch back keeping that sacrum as level as you can and balancing there Balancing there, press it out, warrior three. And slow and steady, step back. Find your lunge, squeeze to center. Hi, baby. <laughs> and slowly lower the back knee down. And press onto that front thigh, lift your navel. Lift your heart and open up. Sink into that front knee, shoulders on the back. Again, keep that hug, that plug into your roots and your sacrum. And feel how that pushing down is helping, or rooting down, is helping that blossoming open. Breathe your heart bright. Stay there, or hands on hips, root down. Stay there, or just keep that pull and plug into center as you blossom arms up, heart to sky. You might hook your thumbs or clasp your hands at the top and pull on whatever hold you've got at the top to squeeze the shoulders together. 
Again, feel that rooting into the back body. The blossoms open your front body. <laughs> Keep the back of the neck long and just go where your breath pulls. So only lay back as far as your breath says yes. Deep, full breaths in the nose and <sighs> breath out your mouth. Breathe and repeat your yes, your mantra, your I am, steady, expansive love, or whatever it is for you today, that's mine. I am love and revolution. I am rooted and blossoming. Big inhale here. As you exhale next, fly your arms down and frame that front leg. You could simply rest onto that front thigh here. Let your chest and shoulder rest and relax your neck. Or stay connected there. Stretch your leg back and get more into the back of the leg, back body, hamstrings. Spread those toes out, drag your heel back, reach your lower back in and heart forward, bow in and rest. You could hold that foot if you like. You could keep dragging back, again, feeling that rooting energy that helps the stem of your spine lengthen and your heart blossom forward more. Please stay there as you like, or inhale forward into your lunge. And back toes under, inhale. As you exhale, pick that back knee up, pick the foot up, and come into balance. Warrior three, hands could stay on the floor, hips, heart, or earth here, and lengthen out. Olai, can you hear me okay? Okay, I turned your volume down. I just wanted to make sure. Long spine, hugging in, maybe picking your hands up or use them for support where you need. Inhale, last breath. As you exhale, step the feet together. Sink into your seat, open up, Utkatasana. Exhale, low. Inhale, standing back bend. Exhale, swan dive. Lead with the heart forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Slow and steady again. Sink into your seat till you get that sacrum level. And really feel again like you've got a block or a soup there. And pour your weight into the left foot. Pick that right foot up. Try to keep as level as you can there. And stretch that right leg back. Leveling out, staying right here, couple breaths, follow any exhale, step way back, keeping that mindfulness in the sacrum and obviously things are going to change here as we lower the knee down and interlace your hands on the front thigh, push in, lift the navel, pull the lips, ribs back, stay rounded in as you like or just walk up that leg, root down, sink in to lift up through your heart. Stay there, our hands on the hips. Again, root down to lift the heart up. Squeeze and muscularly activate into the back body to shine your heart out. Breathe and repeat your yes here or fly your arms to the sky and hook your thumbs or clasp your hands and pull on whatever hold you've got to lift up out of that. Breathe and repeat your heart's yes. Any edge of back bend. Keep that muscular energy hugging in and rooted so that you can shine out, breathful and free. I am. Last two or three breaths here. Mm. 
Last big inhale as you exhale, fly it on down and rest on that front thigh. You can just rest the head, uh, shoulder, and uh, torso there. Oh, stay right there. Relaxing the mouth, relax your neck. Oh, as inspired, stay connected to that front thigh as much as you can. And begin to draw the hips back. Maybe spread your toes out and draw the toes back. And pull on that heel, dragging heel back and heart forward, the long spine. And last breath or so here. Follow your next inhale to come forward, frame that front leg, back toes under, lift the knee. Inhale and, and any exhale for you, pull that back foot up into the core and level the hips out. Push through the heel and reach through the crown of your head. Hug into center to shine out your variation of warrior three. Please support yourself as needed. Last inhale as you exhale, step the feet together, sink into your seat, swoop the fingers, open up our body, exhale, seat low, inhale, standing back bend, exhale, swan dive, inhale, halfway, and exhale, fold, place your hands, and step or jump back, plank pose, top of a push-up, strong core and plank, Long spine, hugging to center. Pull hands and feet towards one another. Pull hands towards each other. Soft in the heart. Keep the navel lifting. Spread those fingers wide and claw your fingertips. Active, pull that earth energy up through your body. Feel yourself nourished, again, by that stability of earth, by the teachings of earth, having to oh, dissolute things or destroy things in order to grow and thrive new life feel your shaking what can you let burn away right now as far as your own limiting beliefs or expired constructs that you can serve your own opening and blossoming into the new strong exhales love that shaking that's you getting stronger almost there babes three more Lost inhale, shift forward as you exhale, slow and steady. Lower all the way down to your belly. Pause on your belly, you can rest your forehead as well. And interlace your hands on your sacrum. And push that sacrum down, root, root, root into the sacrum so strongly. Press through sacrum and pubic bone. Feel how maybe you're pressing so strongly, you can feel that everything else wants to light up a bit and squeeze your legs and pull on your hands and lift your chest and lift your thighs. And deep full breaths here. Keep pressing into the fulcrum of your sacrum and light everything else up from that rooting. Last inhale as you exhale, lower the legs, bring the hands under the shoulders. Point your toes straight back and again, press into your sacrum. Pull on the earth, elbows and shoulders down the back and inhale, open up into Cobra. You could stay up here a few more breaths or exhale and drag yourself forward and down. Inhale, drag yourself forward and open. Two more breath cycles. And make your way back into child's pose. Take pause in child's pose. You could rest your hands on your low back, grounding again through the sacrum as you reconnect to earth and to the remembrance of all the little things that make the big things work, our vibrations, 
our thoughts, our words. Simply breathful or Brahmari, bees breath for two. of you inhale reach and exhale roll on up inhale up and back downward dog pull back from the core strong hands and grow your right leg up and back to the sky pull up and back from that foot and then bend the knee flex the foot press your hip open breathe the front of the hip keep the shoulders as squared as you can Stay there in the press or big hip circles. Switch directions if you're circling. Inhale and press that foot back to the sky. And exhale, foot forward between the hands. Inhale and hug in and rise up, high lunge. Square your hips up and press hips down as you lift and lengthen up out of the waist, elbows and shoulders on the back. Take your time as inspired, arms to the sky. Squeeze to center, stretch up out of that big inhale. And next, exhale, back heel down, open it up. Mirror Bhardrasana two, hero or warrior two. Shining out, hugging in, shining out. Breath, full body. Uh -huh. Thank you. See your intention, breathe and repeat it. Next inhale, dancing warrior, back arm down. Push into the back leg again. Feel that rooting, like you could just kind of hang out here, right? Or push into the back leg. Feel how much more you can lift your spine and blossom your heart. Bend that front knee deep and reach up and out of the hip and ribs. Looking up towards the top hand or down at the back foot. <sighs> What feels breathful for you there? Where is it yummy? Be there, last couple breaths. Last big inhale as you exhale, pull in and up from center and right elbow to that front thigh. Push in and roll open. Root into the outside, the back foot and reach through your fingers, long side body extension, deep full breath. Last breath or two here. Inhale as you exhale, straighten that front leg. Bring your fingertips to shin. Lock or earth and deep in the groin and lengthen the spine forward. Reach through the crown of the head as much as you can and lay back from your top shoulder. Lay back with the ears in line with the shoulders. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Open heart, lift your heart. Here, pull your feet together. Don't move them, but pull the feet together. Feel that muscular energy of your roots pulling up and into your pelvic bowl, to your sacrum, and to the lift of your heart and opening there. Again, sense in. The more you activate that root, the grounding, the more we get length and opening. <sighs> None of us doing it alone. We're all held by what came before, those roots. When you're ready, let's bring the right hand to your hip. You may want to block here. We're going to move into half moon. Bend into the front knee. Bring your front hand about 45 degrees and 8 to 12 inches outside that pinky toe. Inhale there, and as you exhale, pull the back foot up into your core. And as much as you can, that foot at hip height. 
roll open half moon balancing here of course use a wall if you need to for your hand or your top foot or a block or furniture whatever's there stay as you are or maybe put a bow on it reach for that top ankle or foot and kick back squeeze the shoulders ears back lift your heart and breathe Oh, let's just go for a really long sequence here, shall we? Reach the hands to the floor and extend that leg to the sky, standing split. Inhale there, stay in standing split, pulse in and out of it, or maybe walk the hands forward. Inhale, and as you exhale, pull up from that top foot, little hops towards handstand. Couple more breaths and we'll move through vinyasa or rest in down dog or child. Maybe three-legged vinyasa. And take your time, vinyasa, down dog or child's pose. Another few breaths, rest or flow as inspired. Fold into downward dog, long spine, strong core, active hands, pull back from the navel, lengthen out. Claw your fingertips, get that rooting energy, pull that earth energy up through your body to grow your right leg or second side, up and back to the sky. Bend the knee, flex the foot, and press that hip open. Again, keep the shoulders as squared as you can and breathe into the front of that hip. You can do this on hands and knees if you need to. And breathe, big hip circles. Drawing with that knee, big, big circles. And switch directions. And inhale that right leg up and back. Uh, sorry, that's supposed to be your left leg. So hopefully you're on your second side. <laughs> when you're ready, your second side. I flipped around for you and I forgot. All right, so when you're ready, we're coming up into high lunge. Square your hips up, high lunge, second side. Root down, lengthen your spine, squeeze to center. Hands can stay on hips, getting that rooting. Or when you're ready, blossom, arms up. Shoulders squeeze, heart shines out. Deep into that front knee, little pull back of your ribs. Keep feeling into the back body. You want as much back bend as you can, but with an evening, even lengthening. Big inhale there, and then exhale. Back heel down, pivot, and open up into warrior two. Front knee sinks in deeply. Look out over the front hand, palms up. Breathe and repeat your mantra, your yes, I am. Take your time, follow your next inhale or so back into Dancing Warrior. Push into that back leg, keep the front knee moving deep and lift and bounce up out of that back arm, rooting down. Breathe into the bottom tip of your lung. Looking up at the hand or down at the floor, it's up to you. Feel into your front knee and foot, keeping some awareness into your roots and the way that you're pulling energy up from that rooting. Last breath or so here. Big inhale, big beat. Exhale, left elbow to that thigh. Press thigh wide and roll, left ribs face chest to the sky. Root into the outside, that right or back foot, and reach from that foot through your fingers. Long side body stretch, sink into that front knee. Active hug into your core, all muscles hugging bones. 
Everything hugging in and up to center. Full body breath. Last breath cycle here. Follow and exhale to straighten the front leg. Bring your hand to your shin, calf, or floor, or block, whatever you got. And then roll those left ribs to the sky. Lay back from the shoulders. Ears in line with shoulders. Pull the feet together. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Draw that earth energy up. Hug in in your triangle in order to shine out the sacred geometry of your body. Breathe and repeat your hearts. Yes, 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 yes. Last breath or so here in triangle. When you're ready, we'll transition. Top hand can come to the hip. Bend into the bottom knee, half moon. Your bottom hand will come about 45 degrees and 8 to 12 inches outside your pinky toe. Inhale as you exhale, pull the back foot up into the core as much as you can. Foot's at hip height. Hug everything up and into the core again. And shine it out. Breathing that half moon. Light in the dark, dark in the light. Finding that balance of effort and surrender of doing and being, of muscular and organic, of receiving, of giving back. Stay there or put a bow on it, last few breaths. Kick it back, squeeze. Stay there or kick that foot up to the sky as you bring both hands to the ground. Standing split, bow in. You can take a regular forward fold here if you need or just hugging into one leg as you push the other foot to the sky. Let the neck relax. Stay there, pulse in and out of it. Or walk the hands forward a bit, inhale. And as you exhale, pull that standing foot into the core. Keep going with that or flow through a vinyasa, maybe a three-legged vinyasa. And then rest, down dog or child's pose. Deep full breaths in the nose. <sighs> that ha breath to vibrate your heart. Ah. Inhale and stretch back. Down dog and then exhale, hop or walk the feet forward and pause in a forward fold. Any way you like here, you could shake out or bend the knees. Wrap the arms around the back of the legs, cross the wrists. That was fun, E, thank you. Wrist cross, hold your shins. Knees bent, chest on thighs, relax your neck. Stay right here or inhale as you exhale, maybe straighten the legs. You could pulse in and out of that or just bow in. Hug in, bowing into your body. Thank you, body. Relax the neck, grounding, All right, some options here, many levels, many energy levels, see where your body's at. 
Feel free to stay in the forward fold longer or melt yourself down to the earth. If you have two blocks or a bunch of pillows, you could grab those kind of props. If you want a more mellow heart opening right now. Otherwise, I am going to invite you to a more active heart opening. So mellow heart opening option, pile of pillows higher for your head, little lower for your heart or blocks. And one will go behind your heart, the other one behind your head. And we'll just have a passive opening here. Again, you could do that with pillows or blocks. Or those who are ready to go big on this heart opening today. Let's go big. And by that, I mean full back bend. So any kind of back bend, if you'd rather lay in your belly and do a boat or something like that, that's fine. Otherwise, I'm going to invite you to go pretty big here in Urdhva Dhanurasana, upward facing bow pose. So if you want to go here with me, bring your feet to the floor, knees bent. Hands under the shoulders, fingers pointing towards your hips. You just pay awareness to the time so you know where energy is going. Last burst and we're going down. Okay? You know, you heard me. <laughs> He's like setting up a beat over there. I can see him. Just, you know, this is the last big burst and it's all downhill. Okay. So I saw you getting ready to rock over there. I just wanted to. Okay. <laughs> Here it comes, kids. Some rocking heart opening, blossoming with some bam. All right. Fingers turn towards the shoulders. Spread the fingers wide. Claw the earth. If you're just resting, ignore me. Otherwise, push into your feet, lift your hips, and come to the crown of your head. Once on the crown of your head, pull your elbows back, plug your shoulders in, and push into your hands maybe lift up and maybe you come up onto your toes and reach your heart forward between the hand, uh, arms and then heels back down you could come back down to earth and play with coming up again you could squeeze a block between your thighs or imagine you've got a block between your thighs so we keep lengthening the lower back lengthening and stretching out through the core wherever you're at deep full breaths come in and out of the pose Play with it, rest as you like. About six to eight more breaths in this uplifting place of one sort or another. And most importantly, it's about your breath. How's your breath? Use that awe to vibrate your body. Oh, three more breaths. Oh, oh, oh. Please stay longer if you like or walk it on out. Come down to the ground. And if you're in a supported pose, stay longer again as you like, or we will unwind from that big back bend. If you want to unwind with me, arms on the floor in any way that helps keep your shoulders on the floor and feet as wide as the mat. Inhale both knees to one side. Exhale, legs through center. You could reach the arms up for this first bit here if you like. Inhale, knees to one side. Reach up through the arms. Breathe. As you exhale, come on back through center. Let your breath lead side to side. All right, some options. You could stay mellow with that or with the feet as wide as your mat. Next time they both cut and both knees come to the right, cross your right ankle over left thigh, draw it down. Uh, ankle over knee. You could stay with that resting in ankle over knee or pick the thigh up, um, keep the setup of the legs, pick it up, interlace the hands behind the bottom thigh, ease your top thigh away. And there's a nice little outer hip opener. Pull in as you press away. Breathe those opposite actions. Stay there or add some core to it. Great way to unwind back bends. 
Inhale, hands behind the heart and follow your breath. Exhale and Stay with that or land the bottom foot, cross body. Top foot lands, outer thigh lands. So you're taking the same setup of the legs. Right leg on top, cross body to your left. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, reach, left arm past right thigh. Inhale, open. Exhale, reach. With your breath. Same thing, just rotate it. Three more. Take your time. When you're done, come on back. Feet wide, knees bent, side to side. Breathe. Deep, full, yummy, yummy, languid breaths. Breathe. Take your time when you're ready. Second side, feet wide, knees bent, knees to the left. Left ankle over right thigh, draw it down, stretch it out. Mm, yeah, full body breaths there. Stay there or pick it up. Interlace the hands behind the bottom thigh, ankle over knee. Pull right thigh back as you ease left thigh away. Breathe your hips, second side, soft jaw. Rock and roll it around as you like. Or add the core. Hands interlace, inhale, open. Exhale, pull that bottom knee back, navel back, squeeze. the setup of the legs when you're ready take it cross body top foot lands bottom outer thigh lands inhale right arm up left arm holds the head exhale reach right arm past left thigh squeeze inhale open exhale reach squeeze breath out with your breath Three more. Getting those happy hormones going. Come on back to center. Hug into your knees. Happy baby. Hands over the tops of the feet or around your ankles. And here, awareness again to your sacrum. So pull the knees down. Push the heels to the sky. Use your elbows to press the thighs wide. Pull knees down, push heels up, and pull your sacrum down. Really try to root that sacrum again, and from that, lift your low back up. And it's happy baby. If you want to release low back more, really ground the sacrum as you pull down, press up, and lift the lower back. See, you're going the wrong direction, though it's fun. And rock your baby, maybe rock and roll your baby. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Play as you like. You can play with leg extensions, side to side. Breathe your body. Oh, and then.
then take your time. You can either rest uh, here, take uh, any final resting shape, or I wanna, and you, I wanna invite you to sit up for a twist. So you could, if you wanna stay laying down, you know, it's fine, it's your practice, but I would suggest a twist. So take a laying down twist or sit on up and bring your right leg over your left. Stand onto that foot, press in and lift up out of the waist. You were inspiring me, so I got back up. <laughs> we're like dancing today, you know, and I, um, but that's fine, we are grounding down. So push into your sits bones here, root down. Hug into that top knee and lift tall. <sighs> Let yourself land. And again, feel here that the more you press into your roots, your points of contact, the more that heart and head will lift. <sighs> Breathe and repeat your yes. When you're ready, right hand supports that hip. Left arm up and over, inhale, reach and hook that elbow or tricep. Inhale, push down into all points of contact and lift as tall as you can. So we want to try to articulate each and every vertebra spiraling. You could stay here in the twist or use this twist and hook that knee a little higher on your tricep, hands as wide as the shoulders. Claw your fingers, press into your feet and lift up. Maybe add a little arm balance there, extending that bottom leg out, forward, top leg back. It's just a twist untucked. And back. <laughs> and breathing your twist, last few breaths. And take your time, any inhale, unwind. Lift up tall, press in, open twist. Stay upright or bow in. Push into the earth and press into your feet and lift up. And walk yourself in a little circle there. The feet stay where they are, but we're pivoting, pivoting to twist, second side. <laughs> Keep going. Hug into the top knee as you come to sit. <sighs> Lifting tall. Rooting down. <sighs> Lifting up through the heart. Breathe and repeat your heart's yes. <sighs> Support that rooting down with your left arm. Inhale, lengthen through the heart, spiral towards the knee. You could just hug in or reach that right arm up and over, get lots of side body length and then hook, press down into all points of contact, lift as tall as you can, inhale. And as you exhale, spiral deeply. Again, stay with just the twist or if you would like an uplifting moment here, you wanna get that knee as high as you can on your shoulder or tricep and then hands to the floor as wide as the shoulders. Push into your feet to lift up, bend the elbows to make a 90 degree shelf and extend bottom leg forward, top leg back and balance. <sighs> Please stay as you like or tuck it back in and come on back to your seat. Take your time, lift and spiral, open twist. Root down length and spine, stay upright or bow in and push your hips back. Please stay as you like or drape on up. Open your feet up. And let's come into a little forward fold. So yogi's choice, either wide-legged or straight-legged, and you might take hold of your thighs and spin your inseams to the earth, pick up the flesh of your sit bones and put them back behind you. So as much as you can, you're pouring that pelvic bowl forward. And then you could pull on your legs, shoulders on the back to reach the heart forward, or pull on the earth, again, shoulders on the back. Try to lead with the heart as long as you can. And at any point, you could stack up elbows, fists, blocks, whatever you got, whatever you want there, rest your head and bow in. Relax your neck. 
Relax your face. Any edge, wherever you're at, even if it's upright, we want that heart to lead forward as much as you can. Any forward fold, any symmetrical forward fold. Listening to your body. Breathe into those sensational areas. Please stay as you like, or gently drape up and gather your legs up. You might sit up on something and pause for a breathful meditation. If you'd prefer longer final resting or not sitting up, then go ahead, lay down. Rest in a final resting shape of your choice or sit here with me in meditation for a few minutes and then rest in Shavasana for a few minutes. What's right for you right now? As you come into any final resting shape, if your feet are together, knees wide, support the thighs, unless they're laying on the ground, that is supported. So wherever you're at, inhale and squeeze, squeeze muscles to bones, and exhale. Again, inhale, squeeze and gather up any tension and hold it and exaggerate it and hold, 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 and exhale, melt, melt, melt. Again, if there's any busyness or intention, inhale, squeeze it, exaggerate it, hold, hold, and exhale, melt, melt, melt. Give your body to the earth and open your heart and mind to the sky. Breathe and repeat your intention. Big breath. Give yourself a big, big hug with that breath. And as you exhale, just let it wash away. And notice the breath breathing you without any efforting life, lifing itself, flowing in out of form as it does. Rest in vast, spacious awareness, trusting this flow of life. Sutra 2, from the Bhairava Vignana Tantra, Vignana Bhairava Tantra, excuse me, Radiant One, the life essence carries on its play through the pulsing rhythm of outward and inward movement. This is the ceaseless throb, the rhythm of life. Terrifying in its eternity, exquisite in its constancy. The inhalation, the return movement of breath sustains life. The outgoing breath purifies life. These are the two poles between which respiration goes on unceasingly. Between them 
is every delight your heart could desire. Even when the senses are turned outward, maintain your attention on the external world and attend also to the inner pulsation, the pulsing of the creative impulse within you. Designed to heal, to renew, to rejuvenate, ever changing, whole, and perfect. Notice the sky breathing your body of earth, your infinite, divine, mysterious self, saying yes to this blessing of embodiment. And welcome that breath, your expansive self, to deepen and lengthen. Breathe into your heart's center and repeat your heart's yes. Imagine each breath lighting up that yes and shining the fire of your yes out through your body mind, bright, vibrant, alive with life force. Breathe your yes to life and begin to wiggle and spiral it out through your fingers and toes. Inhale and stretch the arms long overhead. Breathe your body bright. Follow any exhale to step your feet to the earth, knees bent if you're lying down and roll to your side. Let that bottom arm be your pillow and the top arm hug the knees in. Take a pause on your side with your head close to your heart. Thank you, body. Thank you, body. And thank yourself for showing up today for all layers of being with courage, with kindness, with curiosity and wonder. And with great full breath, any inhale, gently press into the earth, keep your neck soft and drape back up to any easy seat. Take your time, awareness, inward. Find any easy seat. And pause. Notice what's alive for you right now. What energy is present.
Exhale and root down, touch the earth. Imagine letting anything flow away, not serving you here. Let it become compost for what it is that you're growing. And take your time, follow any inhale to open wide and gather up energetically. And bring the palms together overhead, if you will, and center and focus to the crown of your head. May we awaken to our oneness, our interconnectedness, all of us. As we all awaken, we all awaken. As long as anyone suffers, we all suffer. Hands to the third eye center. May we keep seeing big picture, knowing with that knowing that is beyond words. And hands to the mouth. May we speak our truth. May we sing our songs. May we express ourselves fully and also be the voices for those voices that have been silenced including for the planet, for the earth herself, or those detained or locked up or suppressed, whatever it might be. May we use our power to lift others up and bring your hands to the heart. May we do that with the greatest unconditional loving awareness, with compassion and with a courageous heart living fully from heart center. May all of our effort and energy be for the greatest good, for ourselves, for those around us, and for all beings everywhere. May all beings be joyous and free and safe from harm. Exhale and pour your breath out. Inhale your heart's yes, if you will, join us. Three ohms to seal our practice. Oh. of your own heart to that very same light within all beings I honor that in you namaste and to the earth jai ma yay mama Thank you all for practicing. Thank you for practicing with us. Honored to share this practice with you. Please reach out at any point if you have any questions or comments or you want to get on our newsletter. We have websites, enord.com, Lucid Yoga or Lucid Movement, also uh, YouTube pages and all the things, uh, Facebook, all that. So hopefully we will um, see you here, there, or somewhere soon. Tomorrow morning, kitten yoga, and uh, just rolling around on the floor, playful style. And uh, that's it. All right, live streaming world. Much love to you. Carry on with your awesomeness. Have a wonderful day. And uh, the rest of you will be here to say hi-bye if you'd like to. Namaste.